Fellas, how's it going? It's me, Zach, or the Austere Wizard, and just a few days ago, depending on when you're watching this, I know I'm a little late on the news, but there was a patch, or a update to Black Ops 2. Um, if you haven't received it yet, either A, you haven't been on uh, multiplayer in a while, or B, maybe it hasn't reached you yet, but I'm pretty sure everyone has it by now. So definitely go sign on, make sure everything's up to date on your on your console, on your game, whatever you want to say, because there are some awesome features they have finally added, a lot of things that have been um, wanted by myself and many others for quite some time now, and the first thing I'm going to be talking about, what you can see right here, you're probably wondering, hey wizard, why is there no heads up display? How are you killing people so quickly? Well, my friends, this is hardcore domination, swag swag. They have finally added domination to the hardcore playlist. I know my man Ali the Goat over at Savage Life Studios. We got some videos coming soon, so make sure you go subscribe there. Um, I, he's a big hardcore guy because he likes being able to kill uh, people really quickly. It eliminates the BS. Like, yeah, you still get quick scope and stuff. It's really easy to quick scope. I have a few classes set up for it myself. It's also great for running pistols and shotguns and leveling those up. Especially because it's double XP weekend! Woo! So you might want to go uh, sign on, update your game, and level yourself up. Get to Master Prestige like your boy. Um, <laughs> so basically, Hardcore Domination, it's awesome. I've been playing, playing it a ton lately, past couple days. Um, it's only my favorite Hardcore mode just because it's Domination. Um, usually games like 10, 11 minutes long. And I think it's just the most entered, like, it's the best, it's the most, it's the game mode, let's see, what am I trying to say? It is the game mode I play the most, and now that it's in hardcore, I can play hardcore more, and subsequently level up my weapons faster. Like, I started going pistols only, held my own, still top of the lobby, because that's also just because I'm a savage. But, you know, it's, it's just great. If you haven't played hardcore before, uh, definitely give it a shot, I mean, there's nothing to lose, really. It might take a little while to get used to, but you can see me. I'm just dropping people, just like, boop, boop, look at that guy. Boom, just tapped him in the head with that, grazed him. Now, sometimes you do get hit markers, and you can't kill your teammates, so you do run into some dicks every now and then, just team kill you. But I think after two or three, um, they kick you out of the game. Unless you're host. So if you're host, you can just go around team killing uh, for the entire match. But that is a problem. They should probably fix that at some point. Then we have a lot of host migrations. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble. So that is the, the first major change that I am very excited about. As you can see, playing on this beautiful match of Hydro with my Diamond Peacekeeper, with my um, DLC reticle. I forget which camo pack it came with, but it's one of them. You should go watch that video if you have not. My uh, camo video that also says off the new reticles. It's a pretty good one. People seem to be enjoying it. That is now out on PS3 also. So if you have not picked up uh, the microtransaction camo packs, extra slots, and uh, the national calling card ones, you can do so now on the PS tray. Um, <laughs> so that's available. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting. Everyone's asking in the comments of that video, uh, when are we going to get it? When are we going to I'm like, I don't know. And then someone's like, it's out. And everyone's like, <gasps> oh my god. Um, so that's out for you guys. Definitely go enjoy that. Uh, if you want to get my opinion on which ones I think are the best and which pack is the best to buy, definitely go check out those videos. They're in the Black Ops 2 DLC playlist. You can find them there. Or you can just go through my recent videos. It wasn't too long ago. But let's move on to the next update that involves game modes. So a lot of you guys I know enjoyed, including myself, we enjoyed the chaos mode. Or it's not the chaos mode. But the, uh, whatever you call it, Chaos Mosh Pit is what it was called. Um, that was the only way you could play in Nuketown 2025 if you had it. And so that meant it was just small maps, including Nuketown, which actually came up quite a bit. Um, and then it would run, or cycle through, all the different game modes. So you get a lot of, like, Demolition. I never really saw Capture the Flag, but maybe people just skipped it. So you just get, like, a mix of everything. Like, just normal Mosh Pit. That's how things work. It's just mix everything in, bunch of different maps. Well, these are all the small maps, even though I don't really count Standoff as like a small map, that's more of a medium. But hey, I like the map, so I won't complain. Look at this one. Oh, I almost had him. 
spraying too long. I didn't need to shoot that many shots at uh, that first guy there because it's hardcore. You know, just boop, boop, and you're good to go. Um, so Chaos Mosh Pit is gone. And you're thinking, what you talking about? No more Nuketown 2025? Do not fret, my friend. Nuketown 2025. Are you ready for this? Put your drinks down. Nuketown 2025 will be available in all regular playlists. This guy gets so lucky. I also got lucky too. But so finally, you can play Nuketown 2025 in your core playlist or your core team TDM core uh, capture the flag, whatever, the, whatever you play. It's there in your regular game modes, hardcore, it's all there. Um, so that's great. I've run into it a lot. I think it it's more enjoyable because originally it was a hardened and collector's edition only or care package edition only um, exclusive. And then they brought it out to the public and everyone got it. And then we felt gypped. Again, that hardened edition or the care package. So, you know, we were promised exclusive maps, Nuketown Zombies. And then they just gave everything to everyone. That was kind of stupid. It was a little upsetting, and then the season pass is a whole nother thing I could rant about. Uh, maybe I will in another video. But so Chaos Mosh Pit is gone. The, whatever you call it, this hardcore uh, domination has been added, which I'm so excited about. Love it. But here's another great thing they added. And this also goes back to calling cards, which if you want to see the other microtransaction calling cards and the ones that you get with the camos, yes, you do get... Um, Matching camos, reticles, and calling cards. So that's another incentive to buy the camo packs. I remember there are 19 of them, so the price does get near $20. I think it's like $19 for all the camo packs. <clears throat> but so I'm going to show you the the new titles you got. I'm going to cycle them through on the screen for you. I think um, Ali A uh, was the first video I saw on, on these. And I agree with him. I think that the... Um, that the 10th Prestige calling card is the best. I know, I think 9 it is. 9 is pretty cool. Along with 6, which is this cool, like, ocean, underwater one you'll see on the screen. So tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite. These are all free for you. Now, I know, um, I'll try to explain this better because I know a lot of you guys got confused when I said, you can all have 100 classes. You can all have all 11 of these calling cards. But you have to earn them. Like you have to earn your 100 classes. You have to use your unlock tokens to get more class slots, and then you'll have that times 10. So if you never used an extra class slot, um, prestige award or whatever it's called, then you would only have 50, and so on and so forth. So basically, I don't know why they didn't include these in the beginning, like from the start. But Anyways, it's here now. It's nice. I like them. I've been rocking the 10th Prestige calling card, even though I am Prestige Master. I know. The ladies love me. Um, let me tell you about that. I got a funny skit to make. That reminds me. I got to get on that. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're pretty awesome. You can rewind the video and look at the ones that I showed you. Those are all of them. And so let's say you're only 6th Prestige. You will have six of them. You'll have prestige one through six calling cards and the more you prestige the more calling cards you will unlock and you can kind of decide now how far you want to go based on what calling card you want. Because previously there was no real incentive on prestiging because you could still prestige your weapons and do all that unless you really wanted a certain little emblem next to your name and be like whatever it is like level 50 and then the little skull or whatever. Um, but until you're a prestige master, then you don't have any numbers, so it's actually pretty cool. From the perks of being a prestige master, I know some of you are ma prestige masters out there. You know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at you. You know, you see me, yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Um, that's pretty much it for this. There were also a bunch of other little minor patch updates that you guys may or may not care about. Look at me fail driving this RC car. I don't know why I bothered calling it in. So I just picked up a quad feed, I'm just noticing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Look at that drift, like a boss. Um, so just recap real quick. New calling cards to Black Ops 2 based on your prestige. Hardcore domination, which again is amazing. And then they got eliminated Chaos Mosh Pit. Chaos Mosh Pit. What was that? Oh my god, I'm such a nerd. Um, <laughs> Uh, they eliminated Chaos Mosh Pit, 
Wow, I cannot speak today. So they got rid of Chaos Mosh Pit, added in Hardcore Domination, added in new calling cards, and added uh, Nuketown 2025 to all regular playlists across the board. And like I said briefly earlier in the video, it is Double XP Weekend. I'm pretty sure it's on PS3 too. Um, right now, it goes until Monday morning, I think, Sunday night. I'm not sure when it ends. But get online, enjoy it, rank up if you're not Prestige Master already, like us. Um, so enjoy that. And remember, because it is uh, Double XP Weekend, the Nuketown 2025 playlist is back. So go play your fill, like this video, comment your favorite calling card out of the ones I showed you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, because come April 16th, the DLC videos will be popping on this channel. They're going to be great. i got some great content I planned for you once those drop. I think you guys are really going to enjoy them. I'm going to show you all the things. So if you have not purchased the season pass, you can make this decision if you want to waste your money on it. Because we all know it's deep down that it is a waste. But until next time, like, subscribe, and comment. Wizard out.